Hello and welcome back to another lecture. Before we create our code build project, the first thing I want you to do is test your Terraform script to make sure that it is working properly. So the next thing I want you to do is open the repository you cloned on your computer in Visual Studio Code. Once you open Visual Studio Code, to open the repository you cloned on your computer, select File and select Open Folder. Then browse to the location of your project folder. My project folder is on my desktop. I'll select desktop and the name of the folder is launch EC2 instance. I'll select it, then click select folder. Once you have opened your project folder in Visual Studio Code, for those of you that are using the Terraform scripts that are provided to you, select your EC2.tf. Then in here, Make sure you enter the right profile you have configured on your computer to authenticate with your AWS account. If you don't know how to create a named profile on your computer, I will leave a link to the lecture we did on how to configure a named profile on your computer in this video's description. So the first thing I want you to do is update your profile here. Once you've updated your profile, scroll down. The next thing I want you to update on this file is your key pair. So whatever key pair is in your management console, that is the key pair name you should enter here. For example, to update the name of your key pair, what you will do is you will go into the management console. In the management console, type EC2 in the search box and select EC2 under services. On the EC2 dashboard, scroll down. Under network and security, select key pairs so here you can see my key pair whatever key pair you have in your aws account select it and copy it then come back to your terraform file in your terraform file paste that key pair here these are the two things i want you to do once you have updated your profile and the name of your key pair save this file and select file and select save all once you have saved the file, the next thing we will do is run Terraform Apply to make sure that we can create the resources on this file in our AWS account. To run Terraform Apply, I'm going to right click anywhere in here and I'm going to select Open in Integrated Terminal. This is going to open the terminal. The first thing we are going to do is initialize with our AWS environment and I'm going to type Terraform init to initialize. Once you type Terraform in it, press enter. It is now initializing with my AWS environment and I'll give it some time to initialize. And there you go. We have successfully initialized with our AWS environment. Once you have initialized, the next thing we are going to type is Terraform apply to make sure we can create these resources in our AWS account. So type Terraform apply. Once you type Terraform apply, press enter. When you type Terraform Apply and press Enter, it is going to show you the plan. Type Yes to accept it and press Enter. It is now creating the resources on my Terraform file in my AWS account. I'll give you some time to finish creating it. There you go. It has successfully created the resources in my AWS account. To see if we can access the website we installed on our EC2 instance, we are going to hover over this here and select follow link, then click open. There you go. We can access our website and this means that our Terraform file is working. This is the first thing I want you to do. I want you to test your Terraform script to make sure you can create your resources in your AWS account. Once you have successfully test your Terraform script, let's go back to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, we will delete the resources we just created in our AWS account. So type Terraform destroy. When you type Terraform destroy, press enter. When you type Terraform destroy and press enter, the first thing it is going to do is show you the plan. To accept this plan, we will type yes and press enter. 
and it is going to delete the resources we created in our AWS account. And there you go. Terraform has successfully deleted the resources it created in our AWS account. Once you have tested your Terraform script, if you made any changes to this file, I want you to push it to your GitHub repository. So push the changes to our GitHub repository. Select source control here. And I'm just going to drag this out so you can see it more. To push the changes, the first thing we will do is type a message in here. I'm going to type update. Once you type your message, click commit. And once you have committed, click sync changes to push it to your GitHub repository. There you go. We have successfully pushed the changes to our GitHub repository. If I go back to my GitHub repository, in my GitHub repository, I'll click refresh. And if I select the repository, which is launch EC2 instance, you can see all the changes we made are here. So this is the first thing I want you to do. Test your Terraform script. Make sure whatever resources are specified on your Terraform script, you can create those resources in your AWS account. So basically, I want you to test that your Terraform apply is working. This is all we need to do for this lecture. If you have any questions or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.